Hey guys, in this video we're basically going to go over uh, setting up your day reports and entering in your da data entry on a daily basis to determine your register short order. Now most of the data is going to come in from the register automatically but I want to walk you through how this works. So the first thing you want to do if you're doing this for the first time is click on store settings and then click on the option where it says configure my stores day report lottery fuel etc. When you're logged in here first thing you want to do is set up your information your store name and you can give any name you want over here your sales tax and if you have a low tax rate as well now if you're getting your register pulled from the if you're getting your sales tax pulled from the register automatically set this to zero that's what this basically help icon is doing is basically saying that set it to zero uh, if you're getting the data pulled from the register automatically if you have multiple bank accounts enter them in over here we don't really care about the routing number account number this is only for the purposes of doing your bank reconciliation in the future now for the gas component if you're not selling any gas go ahead and select i don't sell gas if you own your own gas and you're purchasing it and selling it at your own rate, go ahead and enter that in as an ownership. If you're, if you're getting commission, you're just entering commission base. Now on the ownership side, you can have separate tanks or blended tank for your plus. Enter in the ratio for that. If you're selling diesel or not and how you're paying your job or whether it's by EFT or whether it's by check. And then which bank account you're getting that settlement in, which bank account you're paying your job or from. If you have gas cash cards, go ahead and set this to yes. In this case, I'm going to set it to no. Uh, and how is your ca credit card being settled? Is it, if it's a branded store, typically the jobber is collecting it and then basically e balancing it out against your invoice. And if it's an unbranded store, it's coming in directly into your bank account. Now you have the option of setting it to manual or automatically into your bank account. Um, now lottery, if you don't have lottery, again, you can set it to no. If you do have lottery, what your commission is and which bank account it's settling into. And then if you're using vending machines or not. If you have a separate check cashing booth, if you're required to set, in, set up your own EPA reports, these are for the EPA requirements to look at your opening, closing, purchase, sold, inches, short over for your tank report. You click next. Now, if you have your own ATM, you can enter in your commission. If you're getting your ATM from your money from your bank or is it from your day, day reports and which bank account you're getting that ATM money deposited into. If you have money orders, you can set it to yes. In this case, I'll just go ahead and set it to no. If you have money transfers, you can set it to yes. Again, I can just set it to no. And then this payout is actually for money transfers. If you're paying out money transfers as well as receiving money transfers. Uh, so those are the two things and uh, money uh, money transfer too. if you have a second type of money transfer bill payment other commission agents such as weight skills or prepaid phone pins or you know dry cleaning services anything like that you can actually enter in over here this is your customer accounts if you have local accounts you know charge accounts and stuff like that you can set this to yes if you have food stamps set this to yes and if you have a secondary credit card machine in case your primary goes down, you can set this to yes. But in this case, I'll set it to no. And then once you're done here, you just hit finish and there you're basically set up with your day report. Now you're ready to start entering in your daily report. So you just click on day closing or you can do it from basic task. Click on enter day closing and select the day you want to enter for. Now, once you do that, Again, if you have all the data coming in, the system will pull it all automatically from your registers once you have the connection established. So you won't have to worry about entering in all your sales, your sales tax, your fuel, your, you know, any of that component, right? Your drops or anything like that. So to give you an example, let's go ahead and go into an actual live store that actually gives you that information. So I'm going to log out here and log into a live store. So when you go into your day report, here's an example of a store that actually has all the data already coming in from the point of sale system. You notice that all of your sales came in, your sales tax, your grocery, your credit cards, your lottery came in from your lottery day closing readings. And then your lotto readings is something that you have to enter in manually, especially the settlement because the system doesn't know what that is or the adjustment and online credits and scratch off credits if you're getting any. Um, all the other components that I removed basically disappear from this list. If you're getting your reader, if you want to get your reader reading entered in, it's not automatically coming in from your register. You want to enter it in manually over here. Uh, depending on which account you're logged into, 
you may have that data showing up on the right hand side. So be careful on that because, you know, in, in your case, when you're signing up for a trial account, uh, you'll see all the ins on this side, all the outs on this side, and all the miscellaneous entries at the bottom, which includes your ATM readings as well as your reader root readings. Now over here, you can enter in all your cash purchases if you're not doing it through the register. Click on this little pencil icon and just specify the vendor and enter in the purchase amount. Um, if you have any pending invoices that need to be paid, you can pay them through here. Any customer credits, any purchase rebates, any cash expenses. So one question that we usually get is what's the difference between expenses and purchases? Well, to simply put, purchases are things that you actually resell to your customers, such as Coke, Pepsi, Frito-Lay, etc., where you're purchasing it in cash. Expenses are things that you cannot resell to your customers, such as parking lot washing, landscaping, etc. If you're getting any money from your customer from your local account into your store, you click over here and say customer account pay payment paid in and you'll see that there's a plus icon here. And if you paid it out, you pay it out over here. The difference between customer account and loan accounts are loans are usually applied to internal employees, whereas customer accounts are applied to external customers that are not associated with your store. Opening cash carries forward from the previous day. Uh, you have your check cashing. If you brought any money from the bank that day, you can enter it in here and then your total deposit. If you have your drops mapped into the system, it'll basically show up all over here automatically. And then if you have closing cash that's different, you can enter it in over here. If once you do that, the system basically tells you what your opening in is, what your out is, and what your short over is for that day. You can put any special notes on why the short over is so much or your manager can put that note here and that number will basically show up into your day report. You can also attach supporting documentation into the system in PDF format. Basically, this includes all of your reports and readings that came out of your register if you're scanning them into the system. Once you're done, you simply just save the report and you basically are taken to a landing page. Now from here, you can do other things as well. You can update the report if you see that there's a mistake on your gas short over or your day close or short over is too high, you can start retailing your invoices, you can enter in your check purchases, you can do the next day's paperwork, or you can even look at the calendar view and print the report. So let's say for example, if I wanna print this report, I'll click on this print icon and it'll give me a nice little print format. Uh, later on, I'll show you how to customize this print report as well and get it you know, the way you want it to be, but you can actually print this report out and this now becomes your day report with all the sales, all the collections and all the short over for that day. So if you want to look at the calendar view, you can just click on this calendar icon and you can actually see the calendar view for that day. Uh, and for any one of these days, you can actually print the report and the report will populate here. Now, one thing to keep in mind is if you have full access, obviously you can have access to the calendar. But if you're just an employee, you will have access to doing last two days worth of day reports and you can also print the last two days worth of day reports. So I can print the 16th and the 17th because those were the last two that were completed in C Store Pro. Um, so that's the day report entries. Um, and I now, you know, I'm going to talk about how to customize your reports and your layout. So if you go into day report settings, daily entry fields you can come in here and you can actually remove all the fields that are not in your system so you notice that this is your sales on this side and your collection so you can move things left to right you can move things from the unassigned to the assigned or you can move things from the assigned to the unassigned so for example if i go here and i realize that hey you know what i don't have any of these components in my store and i go ahead and move them to the top hit submit if I now go back to my day report and look at it, you notice in the past I had all those extra numbers at the bottom. Now in this case, I don't have any of that. It's pretty much cleaned up significantly. Um, similarly, you know, you can go into settings and you can actually customize your printable report. What things you want to see on the left, what things you want to see on the right. Typically, you don't want to mess with this. We've done a good job of setting this up. Uh, but if there's any components that you don't want to see, like for example, you don't have bill payment or lottery or money order and etc., you can actually just click over here and just move them to unassigned. Uh, prepaid phone pins, I'll move it to unassigned. Uh, customer credits, I'll keep there for now. Uh, gas cards, I'll go ahead and move to unassigned. And then at the bottom, you have any specific things that you want to show. Like for example, if I want to show all my cash purchases, 
uh, sorry, cash uh, expenses, I can show them over here. If I want to show, see all my total cash purchases, I can add that into my list. Running gas inventory, lottery, deposit summary, etc. I can show whatever I want at the bottom, my gas profit if I wanted to as well. And once I'm done, I just hit submit. Now if I go back in and print my day report for that particular day, you'll see that now you'll see the cash expense as well at the bottom of my page. And there's one more view that you have over here. This is more for the managers and owners. You can actually click on over here and that says you're basically your daily summary view. This is your private view that your employees do not have access to. And this basically gives you a good understanding of everything that's going on in your store, what you're buying, what you're selling, basically a high level overview of what your inventory values are and everything like that. You can also customize that view by just going to day report settings and then look at your custom views. And you can set up what you want to see in your custom views. So we're basically going to review all the different reports that are available in C-Store Pro for the day closing element. So if you're doing your day closings on a regular basis, the first thing that you can actually start seeing is when you go into your day closing dashboard, you'll get a good idea of what your current shortovers are for each day and what your, where your shortover is dipping. You can also see what your total inside sales are, total gas gallon sold, total short over for this time period, how much your projected inside sales are for the current month as well as the projected gallon sales for the current month. So that's one big report that's available in here. Now obviously from here you can do anything like configuring your department, configuring your stores and all that stuff that's on this dashboard. If you go to day closing, reports, daily summary, this will basically give you your summary of your sales day by day as well as your collections day by day. So this is a good report that CPAs usually ask for uh, where you can see your deposits, your credit cards, your expenses, etc. for the day. Um, there's also this report over here when you go into report. Check cashing summaries only for the check cashing individuals. Store monthly totals. This is a report that actually gets used a lot for CPAs. This actually gives you, uh, let's say I run it for the month of January. It tells me what my total sales were and my total collections. It's a basically a high level summary of all my stuff. So if I try to print, it'll basically give me a high level summary of what everything is. And this is another good report that you can actually send over to your CPAs where it basically tells you what your sales are, how much sales tax you collected, etc. And you can just basically hand that over to them. So those are pretty much all the reports that are available in C Store Pro for the day closing component of our software. If you have any questions on this, please don't hesitate to give us a call. Again, number is 281. 265-2245.